Step number one, as simple and trivial it is, but you have to make sure that you do have a male and a female budgies. I know a lot of people that they thought they have a male and a female budgies, but then they find out they don't. Most of these people rely on what they have been told at the pet store, but believe it or not, a lot of the pet store workers could make an honest mistake and sell you two males by accident as a result of their lack of knowledge. Or some of them purposely do that in order for you to keep going back and buying more and more budgies. While it is true sometimes it is hard to see the difference, but I'll give you a couple of hints on how to see the difference. First clue is your budgie seer, or in another word their nose color, which is situated above their beaks. Usually, adult males have bright or royal blue color seer, while adult females have white, pale blue or even brown color seer. Males in most cases can be seen a lot more active and talkative, trying to impress their significant other with some moves and nice sounds. They also are known for regurgitating food to the females as a sign of being healthy and that they are able to take care for the chicks by bringing her food to feed them. Or sometimes the male himself can feed them. It's a type of showing off his skills because in the wild, the mother takes care of the young, while the male goes out to bring food to the family so the mother can stay with the chicks in the nest to keep them safe and warm. And of course, if after all you still can't make your mind what is your budget gender, then you can always go to a breeder, another pet store owner, or even a vet to tell you what is your budget's gender. Step number two. Having a budget nest which is a wooden box commonly used for the female to lay her eggs in. Otherwise, budgies don't lay eggs without a designated place for the eggs. There are a lot of dimensions from big to small as well as different hole sizes. You need to have a small hole size that fits budgies and the reasoning behind that is that in the wild, they usually look for small holes in the trees so other big parrots like cockatiels won't try to fight them for the same spot as it is too small for them to fit in, so they prefer to eliminate competition in the place where they know they will raise their children in. As for the box dimensions, the width and depth should be preferably around 12 to 13 centimeters, or about 5 inches, and for the height, 16 centimeter, or about 6 inches. And the whole diameter, it should be approximately 4 centimeters, or about 1.5 inches. While you can go bigger dimensions, try to keep it to the minimal, so it perfectly fits budgies. Inside the box, while it is not necessary, but I recommend you to have a little bit of a concave floor for the hen to lay her eggs in it. So they won't roll away from her, and make it hard for her to keep her eggs warm underneath her. And finally, you need to hang it at the upper side of the cage, because budgies, as any other birds, the higher it is, the safer they feel. Step number 3 After you carefully watch which two of your budgies have formed a bond and become a couple, I highly recommend you to separate them from the others, to avoid unnecessary fights. And keep them calm with no other budgies to interrupt their beautiful romance. Budgies are monogamous birds which means they mate as couples. However, unlike other birds, you don't need to separate the male from the female after laying eggs. In fact, 70% of male budgies help in raising the chicks 
after they become two weeks old. Step number four. Of course, age is important, as in any other animal on this planet. Budgies can start breeding and become fully matured at around the age of seven months. So if you have a young pair, they might need some time to start mating. While it is hard to tell what is the age of your budgie, unless of course you bought it from a breeder, in which case he can tell you exactly what day your budgie was born in. But there are some features you can look at to know if your budgie is older than 4 months or so. Like looking at the crown. The crown is the area above the seer. If the bars on their forehead are all the way down to the seer, then the budgie's age is probably less than 4 months as it hasn't gone through his first molt. You can look at the eyes and see, young budgies under the age of 4 months have full black eyes. Their beaks have black lines and their seer is purple. Look for yourself the difference between this young one and its father. Of course these are all general things you can look at and there are always some exceptions like in case of albino budgie. You wouldn't see bars on its crown and the eyes are pinkish colored. Step 5 If all the first 4 steps apply to your budgies and they still are not breeding then let's do some more digging. Make sure you keep them in the same place. Stop changing the cage's place. Budgies need some time to adapt to a new environment. So if we keep switching their place from time to time, no wonder they can't feel safe to mate and start laying eggs. We have already talked about how the wooden box should be upside the cage. Try to have the cage itself in a high altitude as well, for the same reasons. The higher it is, the safer they feel. Step number 6 Make sure they are in the right temperature. You can't expect them to mate and have chicks if it's too cold for them. How on earth is the mother supposed to keep her chicks warm if she's not warm in the first place? And it goes without saying, very high temperatures will feel very uncomfortable for the budgies and they might overheat. I recommend a temperature between 21 to 28 Celsius or 70 to 85 Fahrenheit. Number 7 Make sure they never wait to get their food. If you go out a lot and leave them for hours without any supervision, make sure they can get food and water whenever they need. This is basic stuff that you need to do even if you are not trying to breed your budgies as well. But if you are trying to breed and the food sometimes is out of reach, they probably won't feel safe to have chicks because they feel they might not be able to feed them. In the wild, they breed when there is plenty of food. Of course, it is good if you have vitamins and some varied and nutritious diet. This should actually be a permanent fixture in your budgie's life. Number 8 Cuddle bone A cuddle bone is very good for laying eggs females as it provides them with a lot of calcium. As a matter of fact, I keep it for all my budgies as it is very healthy for them and it helps their beaks as well stay in a good shape, keeping them from growing too long. Step number 9 Now let's see after doing all these steps, maybe your budgie started laying eggs but they are infertile and they don't hatch. Try to stay away. Stop watching the eggs and opening the box very often. Because if you keep checking it, it will disturb the warmth of the nest. You want to keep it warm for the eggs. I know you are excited and you can't wait to see a little budgie one day. But at the same time, you might be making the situation worse without knowing it. Especially if this is her first time laying eggs. You need to give her some privacy. Or maybe she's new to this. Don't open it. Keep it warm and for her to be a comfortable zone. And finally the tenth and the last step. If nothing worked until this step, then it's time for a serious measurement. 
it might be one of your budgies is infertile for some reason, as humans or any other living thing on this planet. Some are born impotent. I've heard a lot of stories about albino budgies having fertility issues as well, and in my personal experience, I have had albino budgie for a couple of years, and she never hatched one egg. She laid eggs more than once, and none of her clutches were successful. Of course, that doesn't mean all albinos are like that, but they are at high risk of not being fertile. Anyway, in a case like that, you might need to try and find where does the problem lie. Is it your female budgie, or is it your male budgie that have a fertility issue? Have any one of them had a successful offspring before? Maybe you know for a fact a third budgie that is fertile, and you can try to breed them and see which one of the two that have a problem. Or maybe they both are fertile, but have some difficulties together. What I advise you to do at this stage is you can try to ask a breeder, friend that have experience with budgies, your vet, or even here. You can ask me, and we as a community and budgie friends will try to help each other and find a solution together to any problem we face. For more about budgies, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you are watching this video from YouTube and hit the bell icon to get notified when the next video is up. Or like the Facebook page if you are watching this video from Facebook.